Okay, we're ready to do some more pouring today. Okay, so we got the mold nice and hot now. And we have the temperature over there. It is now one degree off, so I'm gonna get ready to start the pouring. And we got a fresh crucible for this, so pretty fresh mold. So we're not gonna get a whole lot of graphite left on the bars or anything like that. And it's up to temperature, so let's get the gloves on, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. Now, I want to make some nice ripples on this. So... Now the mold, the mold does get pretty hot, I'm going to leave that off the side for a little bit so it doesn't overheat. And here we go, so you can see it's still glowing hot, that's where we're at right now. So yeah, it's not focusing the best, but I'm going to go get the quench. So, there we have it. Now it's still a bit hot, so we'll put back down. And, yeah, just so you guys get to see what it looks like from the side. You see the kind of chunk that we have on it? Pretty nice. Okay, so let's go do the stamp now. So we're just going to line it all up, give it a nice hard smack, and once you twist with it, and that came out pretty nice. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's time to polish it all up. Okay, so it's time to get to polishing up the beaver chunk that we have here. Now since it's all stamped up and everything like that, we have a nice little stamp there. So. Yeah, that's going to be the new design. Because I'm pretty happy with that, I've been playing around with the new stamp. And this is what it's going to be. Now we're going to get to the basically polishing up the same as always. Basically get the drill with the polishing bit. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a bit of a wipe here, and yeah, we'll see how it all turns out. So far, that's just the first step in order to clean it, though. Alright, so that's kind of it for now. That's where we're at right now. But we got us. All we've really done so far, we haven't really polished it, we just cleaned it so far. So, we'll get to polishing it up. 
Same as with the old way. So I'm going to put this drill out back. Now just rub it in lightly. Alright. So now since we kind of have it all covered in a thin, nice thin layer, you don't want it too thick of the polish, whatever kind of polish you're using. I use Silvo. I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, we're just gonna let it sit for a while. Let it get all the everything, all the dirt, all the little bits of anything, dust, whatever off of it. And yeah, get to polishing it up right after this. Because you can see just from the drill really quickly there how much came out onto the cloth. Doesn't look like it, there's anything there, but there really is a lot. So we'll get to that right after it dries. Okay, so let's wipe this all up now. As you guys can see, it's pretty dry. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a wipe here. Give it a quick little polish here. I'll do most of the polishing afterwards because yeah, I don't think you guys want to see a hour-long video on polishing. If you do, let me know. I got a lot of content your way then, but I highly doubt it. So, yeah, just give it a quick little polish. You kind of see it's not perfect or anything right now, but it's got a nice shine. And yeah, just give it a quick little wipe down all the way around. Not getting it perfect or anything like that right now. Just trying to show you guys the process and what the new rounds are, what they're going to be, how I make them, all that kind of fun stuff. Now, yeah, I do polish the sides, polish the bottom. Because the bottom is where I stamped it. And now, this is going to be the first round that I've, well, chunk of this, that's this style. So, we got to go stamp it number one. Yeah, I think we're ready for that. So, what I'm planning on doing is that little bit right inside the ripples there. I think that's a good spot to go stamp it. So let's go do that and that will go back to the garage there and stamp that in. Alright so let's get the stamp on. Let's make sure it's lined up properly to start. So there we go. I only have a good table so I'm just kind of on the out of my garage. But let's get the stamp number one because this is gonna be the number one round or well chunk. There we go. Okay and so here would be the final well not final I need to polish it up a bit more but you guys can see how it turned out, how the stamp turned out, you flip it around, there's a chunk factor, and that all came out pretty nice. I am pretty happy with this. I do like this design a lot more. And if you guys think I should side letter the weight, try that, let me know. I am debating side lettering for the weight on these chunks as it, look at that chunk factor, it's definitely going to fit. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that, because there is no way that you're not going to be able to fit side lettering on this. And yeah, it sums it all up. Stay positive, see you next time, and if you want to see the final finished products on all my pores, all what I'm doing, check out my Instagram, it's in the description down below. Stay positive.